Welcome to part 6 of our Fundamentals of Excel 2010 course. The next thing we want to do is we want to add two more functions to this workbook, the min and the max function, to return the highest and lowest values in a month. Now to do this, I'm going to go ahead and move right down. Now before you saw how I could highlight and basically use cut and paste to move a value. But you can also highlight and then point at the edge of the highlight, not on the autofill and not in the center of it, but if you point right at the black edge of it, you can then drag down. So I've moved right down. Now I'm going to go ahead and type low and high. So I have a spot to put the lowest and the highest value for that month. And again, for this, we're going to be using the min and the max function. So I'm going to begin my equation as I've begun all of them with an equal sign, and then the function name, min. I'll open my parentheses, and then I'm going to put the range of cells that I wish the function to search through to find the lowest value. In this case, it's going to be B4 to B6. I'll press Enter, and you'll see it returns the value 100, the lowest value there. Now go ahead and type in equals max in the cell below it. And max is the name of the function where it returns the highest value. And then I'm going to go ahead and open my parentheses up. And again, highlight the range of cells that I want it to work on, which in this case again is B4 to B6. Close my parentheses and hit enter. And you'll see I get the high value. Now we've seen how you can click on a cell and use the autofill handle to drag over and fill in a single value. But you can also do that same thing with multiple cells. Here I have two equations that I want to autofill over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight both of them just by pointing at one and dragging down to the other. You're going to see now the selection box surrounds both of them and there's that autofill handle in the lower right hand corner of the selection. I can now point at it, press and hold and drag over, and both of those equations are copied over at the same time. And again, you'll see because I was using relative references, the references updated relative to their new location. So now I'm able to see both the low and the high values for each month. 